Crocs. The shoes made for toddlers that adults like to wear. How well do you know Crocs? Let's talk about this. Hey guys, Han here from where the helicopter pair meets Papa Bear. It's the helicopter bear and today we're going to start a new segment called Things About Brands. Original name, I know. If you're new here, guys, hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, I'm still gearing to give away these. Uh, these are Air Jordan Retro 5s. All you have to do is hit the uh, subscribe button, bell icon. You're going to be entered in drawing. So let's get into this new segment. Um, what did I call it? Know your brains. Basically, each and every week, I am going to kind of go into uh, background on different brands because as re because as resellers, when you're doing research and stuff, it's kind of nice to know the origin of this brand that is actually selling well for you. So today, first one, let's talk about Crocs. Crocs. Um. Crocs have been, Crocs were founded in 20, 2002, and how they're founded was, um, you had three, three chaps, three lads, uh, one's name was Scott, the other one's name was, I think, Lyndon, and the other one's name was George, good old Georgie boy, Scotty, Lyndon, and Georgie were on, were having, you know, a little bro time, they were, um, in the Caribbean on a sailing trip. And that sounds very, very... Yeah, that sounds like some straight up, like, white guy stuff that's happening. But, you know, they were all on this, um... They were all on this kind of, like, sailing, sailing type of, you know, trip, you know, broing out and stuff, being like, hey, boys just want to have fun. And they come across these new boating shoes. Um, and these Bolton shoes were made from, um, a Canadian company of just, it, it makes sense now. It makes sense. The original idea for Crocs came from Canada. And if you live in Canada, not sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm not sorry. Um, y'all, y'all are Canadian. So yeah, but anyway, they, they come across this. Bolton shoe that was made um, by a Canadian company called by a Canadian company called Foam Creations, and so uh, Scotty, Lyndon, and Georgie were like, "Hmm, that is kind of some pretty dope material. This company is, you know, they that's some pretty cool material." let's acquire them because we have ideas on how to improve this and the material that this the the canadian company has uh, had was called cross lights and what cross light is many people look at crocs and they think these are plastic or these are rubber but guess what they're neither they're actually a closed cell resin um, and that's kind of like what makes Crocs unique. And another fun fact, it takes about 1.6 uh, kilowatts to actually create a pair of Crocs. So no matter how much I hate them, they're actually very, very like energy efficient. God, it makes me, God, I hate them even more because they have good things about them. But anyway, so... Um, in 2002 or it was like 2001 2002 that's when um these chaps finally brought into creation their first croc and remember the original croc was actually meant for to be a boat and shoe and the first one was called the beach the line i think the line or whatever was called the beach and um crocs are actually you know going back crocs are actually named yes after le crocodile and the reason being is because the crocodile is a multi-environment and uh, amph multi-environment and amphibious animal, animal. Um, that means, you know, of course, it can be on land and it can be on water, just like crocs, which are, you know, land and sea crocs. Yes. So, um, so, you know, the first 
first croc was launched. It was called the Beach. Um, and originally, you know, of course, they wanted to just make a strictly a strict boat and shoe. But then, you know, adults started to see these and they were like, man, I think I can wear those to Walmart. And, you know, I, I feel like this is a great like Walmart wearing shoe or this is a great hey my kids have a game type of shoe and that's kind of how you know um that's kind of how crocs came into being um before i finish this of course um because because ever since then crocs have kind of like dominated um the non-athletic wear type of shoe um, even even during the pandemic, I think Crocs, uh, they, I mean, of course, it's a billion dollar company, but during the pandemic, they, I think, were up by 12% because, you know, people were home and they were like, I want to be comfortable. So sweats, you know, uh, for guys, you know, on that gray sweat gang, that was me, um, but no Crocs, but yes, um, but before I leave, if I leave off with this, this fun fact, each and every pair of Crocs, it doesn't matter if it's a size, uh, if it's a little kid size two or a really big adult size 15, each and every pair of Crocs actually has 13 holes. Why am I saying not three, but 13 holes to them. But yes, guys, that was just a little background on crocs um if y'all kind of if y'all like this little thing that i'm doing um put it in the comments below and i shall start doing more brands so y'all can know sort of like the background to them and guys if you're new here hit all the buttons all of them do all the button things until you know till next segment and stuff like that or you know yes i'm done talking now yeah, have a good one.